everybody this is Jen welcome to my channel today we're going to go out and harvest our carrots the carrots that we grew using the winter sown method how did they do well let's find out right here on garden Jen's journey If you recall, I grow just about anything that can grow from seed using the winter sown method. This includes root crops, sunflowers, corn, and other things that people say are not transplantable. I transplant those crops all the time. In fact, I will share a link up above to some different videos that I have done regarding uh, growing non-transplantable crops and transplanting those non-transplantable crops. So again, the links will be right up above for that. So let's head out to the garden and see what our carrots are looking like. Okay, before we take you out to the carrots, I just wanted to show you my garlic harvest. Um, these are all hard neck garlic so yes they are not braided because hard neck varieties you don't braid so they're just hanging up here against the wall under my porch to cure I have quite a few different varieties I have um, music and Dugansky which I got from M.I. Gardner I have Chesnuck Red which is from Baker Creek and then at the end I have some unknown varieties they're just some garlic that I bought from a vendor at the farmer's market in case I could not get garlic um, in time. Because last year with COVID, garlic was very, uh, very hard to get because it was going fast. So anyways, that is my garlic harvest from this year. Let's head on out to the garden. All right, so this bed of carrots is my Royal Chantenays. They are a short fat variety of carrot, which is the kind I typically grow. How did they do once I grew them and then transplanted them? Well, let's take a look and see. So there is a typical Royal Chantenay. It's short and chubby. Some other ones. Remember, I planted them all in bunches like this. It's a lot easier when they're tiny little seedlings. So, yep, some of them grow together. There we go. And some will grow around the other. Okay, so you see I have quite a few carrots here, and yes, they are not perfect. These ones are uh, purple dragon carrots. I love these guys. They're not perfect. They're crooked. Some even grow around the others, but you can see I still get really nice sized carrots. Um, again, these are a dwarf variety, so they don't grow very long, but um, they grow just fine. So if you don't care about looks, if you don't care that, you know, they grow perfectly, winter sowing your carrots and then transplanting them works just fine. And this is just one of the quite a few places that I have. All right, this is another container of carrots. Let's see how they did. This one is uh, my purple dragons. 
I love purple dragons. Let's see if I can get them out. Maybe not. She is a beaut. Look at the size of those guys. Very, very nice. I can see the bugs have already started trying to eat them too. So obviously they're delicious. Okay, so this is my purple dragon carrots. Let's take you in. And see we have you can see we have some really big ones and then we've got some not so big ones. I think fertilizer is the key. I didn't get this bed equally fertilized. It has nothing to do with transplanting them. It's just uh the fertilizer wasn't the best mix. But there's, these are still beautiful and edible. All right, let's check out this last bucket of uh, carrots and see how we did here. Another bucket of purple dragons. Very nice. Probably could have gone a little bit longer. But there is some more beautiful carrots. So I hope you enjoyed watching this reveal on what winter sown carrots look like when they are harvested. Now again, my crop wasn't exactly perfect. Some didn't grow quite right. But I contribute that more to fertilizer issues and not so much the winter sowing issues, transplanting them um, from the jugs. I've grown these every year, uh, ever since I knew about winter sowing. So um, yeah, you win some, you lose some. So if you like this video, if you found it informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching my channel. If you haven't already, I'd love to have you along for the journey. So go ahead and click the subscribe button below and welcome to the journey. And I hope that no matter where you are, you are wonderfully blessed. So until next time, everybody, bye-bye.